I'm back and I'm wearing my I'm judgmental shirt. Thank you for your love and support. I wasn't able to get to the comments today, but I will. I will. We're going to do something a little different because I need your help on something. Okay. Future tells eight-year-old son that his mama is a hoe in disturbing text. So our own. Um, I got a question. <laughs> I got a question. I got a question. I have a question. You know, I am very analytical and I have a question to ask. Okay. Welcome back to church, girls. <laughs> Faith girls want to get married to. My name is Janice. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for those comments on uh that video about people i want people to unsubscribe from my channel goodbye bye and the the uh your comments on bread i didn't get a chance i was really busy all day with my kids and so i just didn't get a chance but thank you for that um a lot of you gave a lot of good commentary on the whole bread uh situation we need to fix ourselves up we need you can't you can't Girl, I just can't. Anyways, thank you for the love and the comments and the reviews on my books. So three times the guys, uh, most of gratitude, the naked wife, most of gratitude in Christ I am, and of course my newest, and, and of course, of course, uh, how to not give boyfriend husband best. Of course, my newest baby, ten years a girlfriend. Be sure to pick that up. And my newest, newest, newest baby, uh, wisdom journal. I'll be uh, mailing out. Uh, journals in a few on my other channel, allegedly, Janice. I might just sit here and mail them out while I'm talking to you guys. Then we're going to go over to Messiah Allen channel at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm helping her to get her hours, okay? All right. So this one is on Yahoo. I should have put the picture up here, but I ain't got time, girl, because I got to go. Future tells a eight-year-old son that his mama is a hoe. In this survey text. The mother of future son, Brittany Mealy, exposed him for allegedly sending the eight-year-old boy disturbing text messages on August 10. Mealy uploaded screenshots of a conversation her son and future had, uh, and it read, future, tell your mom, son, tell your mom, son, no, future, tell your mom, son, tell my mom what, future, buy you some clothes, son. Dad, future, son, dad, future, your mama is a hoe. Okay. You know what I don't like about modern day people is y'all put everything online. Everything is not for everybody. When folks on social media began to claim Mealy was lying, she maintained the dialogue was the Atlanta rapper texting their son and even threatened to release recordings. That's definitely your number and his uh, SO stand on it and pipe down it if you don't want these recordings posted. She shared on her Instagram story, oh God, you said it, they need to cancel your cruelty to children having seen him in three months, but in, in the same state. So my question to the mama is, I'm gonna ask the question at the end. You, how is that cruelty to a child when you chose him to be your baby daddy? I'm gonna, I'm writing a book. Your baby daddy is a choice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then a text says, "From the this is from the shared room, by the way. This the the article's on Yahoo Life, but the the text message is the shared room. The mother of future son accuses him of calling her out of her name in a message he allegedly sent to their son. His name is Swipe. She added that March Madness rapper is being hostile because she rejected his sexual advances. Well, apparently, <laughs> well, anyways." I try to be nice this Friday, you know, so this coming. <laughs> Petty cause someone don't want to be sexually active with you and just want to co-parent. You should have thought about that before you made a baby with the mom, okay? But anyways, she added, I have been so nice and calm. I'm tired now, 
but I'm chill. I do not play about my kids. I'm a mother first and always, always go stand up for mine. You should have thought about that before you had a baby with a bum. Mm -hmm. Future's mother even chimed in and posted on her Instagram story that Mealy wasn't getting her way, so she was turning on to social media for attention. Mealy clapped back at her, not only to mind her business, but that she's the reason the mask off rapper is a true narcissist. Ooh, so mother to mother. Okay. Uh -huh. This isn't the first time Future was accused of being insensitive and inappropriate uh, with he and Mealy's son at his eighth birthday party last year. Mealy wrote on social media that Future disrupted the party and made threats. Uh, who TF tell an eight-year-old F him and he will shoot up his mom mm -hmm, real B. She wrote on her Instagram story, don't come back begging like you are your your and will always do simp because you're dead to me right now. Oh, but you know, these delusional people, I just can't. But, anyways, girl, I just I'm doing all this because I want to ask you all a question. I'm just saying, your baby daddy is a choice. So, when you choose the bomb and the boom don't want you to be what you want him to do, now you want to put it all in the social Okay. Uh, and that was all the article. Oh, that's all the article. Okay. So here is my question. Here is my question. Who we'll tried this video here? Uh -uh. Anyways, I raise my child, Lord of the Lord. My question. Let me read the title again. Future call his son. Uh, tell his son, Mama. He's a, she's a hoe. So here is my question. <laughs> my question to you is this. The baby daddy calls the baby mama a hoe. <laughs> my question, you know what? I, I'm not gonna ask, we, let's play Jeopardy, okay? I'm not going to ask the question. I'm going to let you ask me the question that I want to ask. <laughs> and the first three people, the first three people that answer, that ask me the correct question and go to my blog and complete the the com, the, um, the the contact form with the and let me know hey janice i asked ask you the question on did you send me my book i will drop it in the mail because i'm gonna sit right here i'm going to my allegedly janice right now and i'm going to be mailing out books because i owe people books they're harassing me in the emails girl <laughs> what y'all think i want to ask uh, what y'all think i want to ask what's the question do you think i want to ask now let me say this, mamas and daddies, you laid together, you made a baby. First of all, y'all need to stop making all these babies. How many kids, future? About 15. Y'all need to stop having all these babies all over the place because you know what? You are going to be attached to the baby mama or the baby daddy for life. Okay. Now, you know, over here at the church, girl, we we excuse one baby out of wedlock, one bum uh, baby daddy, one divorce, one. We just excuse them. Okay. Except a couple of uh, girls from other countries, you know, they be getting married at 16, child. You know, they, that don't work out. Then they get married. Yeah, yeah. We overlook those. Okay. Uh, we need, we, we don't put your kids in the middle of what you and the parent, the other parent is, is having. Never, never speak ill of the other parent to your child because you're painting a picture in the child's life. Just just leave, keep it very basic. And when the kids get older, then they will learn for themselves. Granted, if either parent is abusive or whatever, then you know you, you have to keep your kids from them. But as far as talking bad about one parent to one the child about the other, it's it's ghetto and it's ridiculous. And y'all need to stop doing that. And for those of you girls that's dating for marriage, let me explain something. Your baby daddy is a choice. Okay? Your baby daddy is a choice. And we all need to choose better. If you have one bomb baby daddy, I know. 
know one girl, child. She got a five bum baby daddy. Now, you know, one dumb bum baby daddy, you overlook. But, girl, you got three, four, five bum baby daddies? It's you. So that's wrong with you. But, anyways, I'm about to go. Come on over to Allegedly Janice. I'm going to mail these books out so y'all can make sure I get y'all books in the mail. And then we're going to go over to Miss I channel at 6 p.m. to help her out. Uh, grow her channel and get her hours. So we should try to get her channel approved. I also love you. Ask me the question in the comments. What you think I want to ask her? Ask them. And then go to my blog, JanisLiltonBlog.com, and email me. And uh, let me know you answer the, cor the correct answer. First three. Three. I'm only doing three. And then I'm sitting right here sending these books out in the mail. I'm going to drop them in the mail. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I got to go. Tomorrow morning, um, ooh, watch my Put a Ring on It live. Watch on Allegedly Janice. I doubt if I'm going to be up at 10 o'clock tonight to watch that show, girl. You know I can't do that. Is it 10 o'clock? I can. But I will be up early tomorrow morning to watch it. Are you guys going to see the Respect movie? Oh, my God. Lexi want to go. And it's not on HBO Max. And we might go to see it tomorrow at 12 o'clock, at 1 o'clock in the uppity community. So hopefully it's not too many people. Because, you know, I just cannot do all these people in the midst of COVID. Because I am, like, seriously, like, looking around like, oh, my God. Are you COVID? Did you just sneeze? Where's your mask? <laughs> I love you. I have to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.